how do you live out your faith on your team? As a Christian, as someone um, who is identified as a Christian in, in the locker room, how do you grow out, grow, live out your faith on, on the team? John, I'll go with you first. Um, well, uh, I had to, it was a learning process for me because, you know, when I got drafted to Philly, you know, uh, I was home. So I knew, you know, where to go. I knew where the spots was. So I was kind of, you know, in and out, like, because I was in Philly, there was a lot of temptation. And, um, you know, I was trying to live the right way, but, you know, it was a lot of temptation there. So I was kind of, I was in and out. So it took about, uh, took about two years to, you know, overcome that. And uh, once I did, I was, like, <clears throat> extreme on trying to show everybody, like, because I was, people knew I was in and out, I was trying to show that, you know. I'm out now. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I was, like, doing pretty stuff, like, stuff that God wasn't telling me to do. I mean, it was for, for God, but he wasn't telling me to do these yeah. things. Yeah. Like making T-shirts and <laughs> tracks and yeah, yeah. Uh, street corner preachers. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a Bible. Here's a Bible. <laughs> I mean, you see the six, seven guy in the corner? <laughs> like one time we played in this. It's like the long way. Today. Okay. One time. One time we played in this, and this is before uh, they had the dress code. So before oh. they had a dress code, like you can wear anything. Sweat. Like now you got to dress up pretty much like we dress now, but like this guy. <laughs> Landry's real dressed up there. <laughs> Uh, All right, <laughs> <laughs> but before you can wear to the game sweats, uh, t-shirts, like Timberland boots, like you can wear whatever you want. Like you didn't have to be dressed up. So uh, I was hurt. Um, I was hurt, so I wasn't uh, playing that game. So on the bench, I, I printed off all these t-shirts and said, uh, "Try Jesus." And during the game, you know, now we gotta wear a blazer and uh, <laughs> shirt and tie and all that on the bench. So I came out with my try juice shirt on the bench. And every time, like every time, uh, you know, a timeout, my son, everybody came to me, I stood up, like walked out, so everybody could see me. Like, like Chris, stuff like that. So that's, that's one way you lived out your faith back then. Yeah, yeah. Back then. So that was, that was it. But I, I mean, I learned, like, I mean, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't hurting anybody, but it was, it was more, you know, I just try to now just, you know, live the right way and um, try my best to live the right way um, and look for opportunities to share my faith with, like, players or teammates or whoever it is, staff, whoever it is. Um, and I, I let, I, I try to let the spirit lead me then, just me just being, you know, out there. So, like, Wearing Tri Jesus shirts. Yeah. And <laughs> John the Preacher. Yeah. What gives you the strength and the perseverance to, to keep on even when you don't feel like keeping on? Uh, it's the spirit. Okay. Um, that's it. Okay. Um, I mean, there's times where it's, you know, it's tough to, you know, compete every night, um, especially when, you know, you're not feeling like you can compete at a, you know, the level you want to because of injury or whatever, whatever the case it is. But, um, I just rely on the Holy Spirit and uh, uh, rely on Him to get me through uh, whatever I, I gotta get through. Um, yeah. If it's injury or coach's decision. Um, as far as coaches, I try not to look at uh, the coach. I try to look at um, like, all right, it's not really about him. It's, it's more than him. It's about. Uh, it's about it's more about my relationship with God as far as how I'm gonna deal with this situation. Mm. So I mm. try to take him out of the situation and try to deal with it with how uh, Christ will want me to deal with it. How do you come into a new, new locker room, middle of a season, team's not winning? What how do you how do you make that happen? Um well, I mean just gotta rely on God. I mean that's that's just everything. Like um, whatever it is you're going through, I mean, you got to make Christ the center of it. 